The warmth of your hand in a cold gray sky, it fades to the distance. The image is gone, only you and I, this means nothing to me. This means nothing to me. Uh, if Midge Ewer is actually singing that like two octaves higher, it's pretty wild. You just straight try to learn a couple a couple lines from the song just to, to tell people you're coming to Vienna next week. And you'll learn that Dr. Midge, dude has some range, man. I mean, he's still alive. I'm sure he still has range. Um, so uh, uh, there are factions. There are people who think that only the John Fox Ultravox was good, but I don't agree with that. I think Vienna and Rage and Eden are absolutely genius records. Um, I am John. I am the singer from the Mountain Goats. We're coming to Vienna. That's why I was thinking about Vienna. That's not the only song ever written about Vienna, but for people of a certain vintage, me, uh, that is probably the first thing we'll, we'll ever think of when the subject comes up. Uh, you know, uh, and I haven't been since like 95 or 96, I think it's 95, uh, and I'm extremely excited. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of the literature I read is Eastern European stuff, and Vienna is, is such a, a massively important city uh, in, in the whole history of, of, of Europe, uh, and, and, and a big touchstone for intellectual life, uh, the, the type of stuff that I like to read about, everything, everything, everything passed through Vienna for the longest time. And uh, so I'm really excited to go there, because I was only there one night before, uh, and well, the next morning, Somebody came to take my picture and they handed me a, a, the, the plate of like a cello, like the front plate, and said, here, let's go to this high fashion district. You can see what I look like in, in 2022. You can imagine how grubby I was in, in uh, uh, 1995 or six. And, and so then we went to some high fashion place. I stood in, in line at the dressing room holding the cello plate, you know? I never saw those pictures. If you took them, please. <laughs> Please come to the show and uh, let me have a look at them uh, and uh, see the alien life form that, that used to be me in those pictures. But we're very excited to be coming to, to Antwerp and, and uh, Vienna and, uh, and Manchester and London and Dublin. I don't have the dates in front of me. Um, Amsterdam, uh, Berlin. I haven't been to Berlin as a band. God, maybe ever? As a, as a, as a, as a three-piece? I don't think so. Hello, Berlin. I hope to see you there. Uh, so yeah, we're excited to, to come. It's been, uh, you can ask anybody or you can go listen on archive. Uh, we, we have a lot of fun. Uh, uh, these shows have been really fun. And, uh, and this is the, uh, the last tour of the year. Uh, do I have new songs in the hopper? Yes, of course I do. I'm very excited about some of those. Uh, we we'll doing new stuff soon, but, uh, but in the meantime, uh, we're coming on over and, uh, and I just thought I would say hello. We got about a, a week before I get on the airplane. Um, and, uh, and I cannot believe, speaking of airplanes, that I dodged the multiple airplanes. I do hear like things falling from trees or something, but it's nothing compared to the noise that attempted to prevent me from sharing this news with you that we're coming to Vienna, which you already knew mostly, but just in case, uh, looking forward to seeing you there and, uh, and, and, and in Manchester. And, uh, yeah, it's exciting to be going because it's, so, it's been so long, you know. Uh, when me, me and Matt did the duo shows, we were, having, we were developing plans to be coming back, you know, like yearly or something and then get the band but you know COVID-19 you heard about it right so all, all that stuff happened but now we're coming yeah see you soon it's exciting okay bye